Construction work is already a dangerous profession, with workers facing a variety of hazards on a daily basis. But some construction sites are more dangerous than others, with a higher risk of accidents and fatalities. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the deadliest construction sites in the world. First up, we have the Brooklyn Bridge in the United States. This iconic bridge stretches across the East River, linking Brooklyn and Manhattan. It was first completed in 1883, after 14 years of construction, and was the first steel cable bridge in the world. Unfortunately, the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge was not without its share of accidents and fatalities, with approximately 30 deaths occurring during the project. The first fatality came in 1869, before construction had even begun. German-born John A. Roebling, who designed the bridge, was taking compass readings one afternoon when his foot was crushed between some pilings and a boat. His toes were amputated, and a few weeks later he died of tetanus. Other workers fell off the 276 foot high towers, were hit by falling debris, or succumbed to Kaizen disease, better known now as the Bends. Dozens more suffered debilitating injuries, including Roebling's son Washington, who became bedridden with the Bends after taking over as chief engineer from his father. To provide a firm footing for the bridge, Roebling built two huge wood and steel boxes, put them face down in the East River, and filled them with men. Over several months, the men dug out the riverbed, enabling the boxes to sink deeper and deeper until they hit bedrock that was firm enough to support the bridge. By all accounts, the work was downright hellish. The Kaizens were poorly ventilated, lit by gas lamps, and filled with pressurized air. At any moment, a leak in the wood, a problem with the air pumps, or a fire could cause the box to depressurize, making the water rise or create another crisis that could kill everyone inside. To make things even more interesting, Roebling used high explosives to blow up many of the boulders on the river bottom. Basically, Kaizen workers would wait until the box hit a rock, then would drill a hole in it, pack it with explosives, and set it off. Because of this and other things, 30 men died during construction. Next on our list is the World Trade Center in New York City. The construction of the World Trade Center complex in New York City was conceived as an urban renewal project to help revitalize Lower Manhattan, spearheaded by David Rockefeller. This complex of skyscrapers in Lower Manhattan was designed by Minoru Yamasaki and was completed in 1973. It consisted of 13,400,000 square feet of office space and was a major hub for international finance and commerce. However, the construction of the World Trade Center was also marked by a number of fatalities, with an estimated 60 deaths during construction of the project. The death rate was about 17 individuals per thousand workers. Tragically, the World Trade Center was also the site of the September 11th terrorist attacks, which resulted in the deaths of an additional 2,753 people. Another deadly construction site is the Hawk's Nest Tunnel in West Virginia. This three-mile tunnel was built in the 1930s as part of a hydroelectric project and was the site of one of the worst industrial disasters in American history. Facing widespread unemployment during the Great Depression, about 3,000 men traveled to West Virginia to dig the tunnel. They worked 10 to 15 hour shifts using drills and dynamite to mine the sandstone, which is composed primarily of cemented quartz or silica sand. The workers completed the project more than twice as fast as original projections. They were not given any masks or breathing equipment to use while mining, although management wore such equipment during inspection visits. Black workers, who made up three quarters of the workforce, told Congress in 1936 that they were denied breaks and even forced to work at gunpoint. As a result of the exposure to silica dust, many workers developed silicosis, 
a debilitating lung disease caused by the effects of silica dust in the lungs. A large number of workers eventually died from the silicosis, in some cases as quickly as within a year. The project resulted in a reported 764 deaths, although a true number of fatalities is likely higher as silicosis can take several years to be fatal. Next, we have the Karakoram Highway in Pakistan and China. This highway stretches over 1,200 kilometers and connects Islamabad in Pakistan with Kashgar in China. It is the highest elevation paved international road on earth and passes over the 15,466 foot high Karakoram mountain. The construction of the highway was a massive undertaking that took place between 1959 and 1978 and involved the efforts of around 100,000 workers. However, the project was also marked by a high number of fatalities with an estimated 1,010 deaths occurring during construction. The highway's treacherous and unstable mountain terrain, as well as the extreme weather conditions, contributed to the high number of accidents and deaths. Today, the Karakoram Highway, also known as NH35 or KKH, has become a niche adventure tourism destination, although it is widely considered the world's most dangerous road. The high elevation of the highway, coupled with difficult weather conditions, often makes it difficult for vehicles to pass. According to reports, more than 1,000 deaths have been reported on the highway ever since it opened to the public in 1978. Besides the risk of slippery roads and snowfall, there is a constant threat of landslides and falling rocks. As blockages and accidents are a routine affair on the highway and only the most skilled drivers are known to safely get around the corners and handle the conditions of the highway. The Transcontinental Railroad was a massive construction project that connected the east coast and the west coast of the United States by rail. The railroad was completed in 1869 and required the efforts of thousands of workers, many of whom were immigrants or Chinese Americans. The construction process was challenging and dangerous, with workers facing a variety of hazards including accidents, disease and harsh weather conditions. One winter, snow exceeded 60 feet in the mountains where the tracks were being laid. Terrible natural and man-made fires would periodically hinder work. The workers fought their way through the desert areas without easy access to water or food. It is estimated that approximately 1,200 deaths occurred during the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad, making it one of the deadliest construction projects in American history. Despite the high number of fatalities, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad marked a major achievement in the expansion of the development of the United States. The completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in the United States in May of 1869 was truly revolutionary. A cross-country trip that previously required four to six months of substantial effort was reduced to a mere seven days, a 95% reduction in time. Most importantly, for passengers traveling on trains along the railroad, the risk of death from disease, weather, or hostilities was almost eliminated. The transportation of goods and people was transformed and the country became a lot smaller, all due to the heroic efforts and sacrifices of the many, many construction workers involved with the project. The Qatar World Cup stadiums are a series of sports venues that were built in preparation for the 2022 FIFA World Cup which was held in Qatar. The construction of these stadiums has been marked by controversy and allegations of labor abuse, with many workers being subject to poor working conditions and low pay. In early 2021, the UK newspaper The Guardian published a detailed investigation revealing that at least 6,500 migrant workers in Qatar had died between 2011 and 2020 while working on construction sites for the 2022 World Cup soccer matches. This followed an initial investigation by the same newspaper into Qatar's preparations for the World Cup, published back in 2013, 
describing situations of forced labor, a form of modern slavery, which led to several dozen deaths over the summer. Unsurprisingly, the government of Qatar has strongly disputed these figures, claiming that only 37 deaths had occurred among workers on stadium construction sites. Three have been attributed to work accidents and 34 to natural causes. Whether or not you believe in the Qatari government's account of 37 deaths or that of the UK newspaper's account of 6,500 deaths, in this day and age, even one death to build a sports stadium really should be one too many. The White Sea Baltic Canal, also known as the Stalin Canal, was a massive construction project that was undertaken in the Soviet Union in the 1930s. The canal was built to connect the White Sea with the Baltic Sea and required the efforts of thousands of workers, many of whom were prisoners who were forced to work on the project. The construction process was extremely difficult and dangerous, with workers facing a variety of hazards, including accidents, disease, and exposure to the harsh elements. The canal was completed in 1933 and played a vital role in the economic development of the Soviet Union. Officially, approximately 12,000 deaths occurred during construction, but unofficial estimates have confirmed that over 25,000 workers died during the construction of the White Sea Baltic Canal, making it one of the deadliest construction projects in history. The Panama Canal was a major engineering project that connects the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, allowing for the transportation of goods and people between the two oceans. The construction of the canal began in the late 1800s and was completed in 1914 after several years of challenging work. The French initiated the project in 1881, but they had to stop because of high worker mortality rates as well as engineering issues. The death rate of the entire project was 408 deaths per thousand employees. Over 25,000 people had lost their lives due to the harsh working conditions by the time the French pulled out of the project. When the United States took over in 1904, 5,600 more people died due to accidents, starvation, and diseases. All in all, 30,609 people lost their lives during the entire project. The U.S. continued to control the canal and surrounding Panama Canal Zone until the 1977 Torrijos Carter Treaties provided for a handover to Panama. After a period of joint American-Panamanian control, the canal was taken over by the Panamanian government in 1999. The American Society of Civil Engineers has ranked the Panama Canal one of the seven wonders of the modern world. The Burma Siam Railway, also known as the Death Railway, was a railway line that was built during World War II to connect Thailand and Burma. The Empire of Japan had the railway built to support their troops in the Burma campaign of the Second World War. The construction of the railway was carried out by approximately 61,000 Allied prisoners of war and 250,000 Asian forced laborers and was marked by extreme brutality and abuse. The railway was completed in 1943 and played a role in the war efforts of the Axis powers. The workers on the project faced a variety of hazards, including accidents, disease, and mistreatment by their captors. It is estimated that the entire project resulted in the death of about 12,000 prisoners and 90,000 laborers. The majority of these people died due to starvation and the officers' brutality, while lions killed others. Most of the railway was dismantled shortly after the war. Only the first 130 kilometers or 81 miles of the line in Thailand remained, with trains still running today, as far north as Nam Tok, Thailand. This brings us to the final and possibly most alarming construction project on our list today, the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is a major shipping route that connects the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea, allowing for the transportation of goods and people between Asia and Europe. 
You may remember back in March of 2021, the Suez Canal was blocked for six days after the grounding of Ever Given, one of the world's largest container ships. And since then, everything from iPhones to broccoli have become more scarce and expensive. Construction of the Suez Canal began in the 1850s and was completed in 1869 after several years of challenging work. The project involved the efforts of thousands of workers, many of whom were recruited from various countries. The construction process was difficult and dangerous, and as with many projects in this video, workers faced a variety of hazards including accidents, disease, and exposure to the harsh elements. It was originally stated that approximately 1,500 deaths occurred during the construction of the Suez Canal. However, according to Gamel Abdel Nasser, the second president of modern Egypt, an estimated 120,000 out of the 1.5 million workers, mostly forced laborers, lost their lives during the 11-year excavation of the Suez Canal from 1859 to 1869. If this mind-boggling claim of 120,000 job site deaths is actually correct, it would make the Suez Canal project the deadliest in known history for construction workers. Construction work is already a risky profession, and these sites demonstrate just how dangerous it can be. It's important for workers to be properly trained and equipped to handle the hazards they face on the job and for employers to prioritize the safety of their employees. We hope that even though the subject matter here has been rather morbid, you enjoyed the video and will subscribe to our channel to see more upcoming content like this. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there brothers and sisters.